الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم كلا إن الإنسان لا يتغى أرآه استغنى صدق الله العظيم English prayer In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate Recite in the name of your Lord who created Created man from a clinging substance Read and your Lord is the most generous Who taught by ten Taught humanity what they knew not Most certainly one exceeds all bounds Once they think they are self-sufficient Assalamu alaikum wa Thank you, Fatima Anna, for to bring a peaceful atmosphere over here. Then, I request our beloved principal, Dr. V. V. Abdul Kader, the person who builds character, inspires dreams, instills a love of learning. I request our principal to today's welcome speech. Over to you, sir. Respected parents, vice principal, HOSS, Manager, Students Affairs, Supervisors, Teachers, and my dear students. We have already completed the first term, and we are going to reopen the school for the second term after summer vacation on 29th of August. Almost all the parents are known to us but there may be a few a very few new parents first of all let me introduce our vice principal mr am sharif students affairs manager mr ij nazari hoss of hos of boys mr abdul rashid hos of girls higher class Mrs. Hasina Begum, Primary Class HOS, Mrs. Smita Rajesh, and KG Section HOS, Mrs. Varalishmi. We also have our Senior Class Supervisors, Mr. Rafiq and Mr. Sultan for boys, Mrs. Renu for girls, Mr. Shah, Shija Shafi and Mrs. Noor Aisha, for the primary, and Ms. Harisa and Nahila for lower classes primary, and Mrs. Shanifa and Ms. Justina Khalil for the KG section. First of all, let me welcome you all to this session. When the pandemic started last year, first we started online classes. Later, those who were willing to come to school to attend face-to-face -face classes were permitted to come to school. Hence, we had both online classes and face-to-face -face classes. During the last academic year, with your cooperation and with the dedication and the work of our staff and students, we were able to overcome all the hurdles and complete the academic year successfully. We were also able to complete the school exams and board exams very well. In the board exam, both in the Kerala board and the, C and the CBSC, our students have produced 100% pass results. All the students who appeared were eligible for higher studies. I take this opportunity to congratulate all our students, their teachers and parents for the excellent performance in the board exam. In Kerala board grade 10, of the 140 students appeared, 99 students have secured A plus in all the papers. In grade 12, of the 80 students appeared, 32 students have secured A plus in all the papers. In the CBSE grade 10 and 12, the class average mark is 85 percent. The academic, the academic years we started in April and will be continued till March. Our teachers are struggling a lot to complete the syllabus and to maintain the flow. The school is determined to make the school life happy and memorable for the students. We have taken all safety measures required by the Ministry of Health, Department of Preventive Medicine and Adults. 97% of our staff 
and almost all the students have above 16 years attendee FTF classes have vaccinated. We request the remaining parents to take vaccine for their wards. We need to change and adapt to face the upcoming change, challenges. We assure you that all the students attending FTF classes will be safe and secure. We urge the students to keep distance and to follow COVID-19 protocol directions and regulations. Dear students, remember hard work is the key to success. Set a goal and your teachers will help you clarify your doubts. It is your attitude rather than your, than your aptitude that determine your success. Participate in all the school activities, whether it is online or offline. Education is the manifestation of the perfection already in man. Education shapes the life of an, of an individual. And illustrious, all illustrious people were industrious, work hard and strive hard to reach your goal. The whole world is facing the pandemic and we hope by the grace of Almighty, the world will overcome it and return to normalcy in the nearest future. As the great romantic poet Shelley sang, if the winter comes, there will be spring far behind. Dear students, make a blueprint of your future, work hard and utilize your time carefully and fruitfully. Wish you all successful days ahead. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cinnamon, please unmute. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your welcoming speech. We feel very fortunate to have you as our principal during these challenging times. Now, the most important part of our session, orientation part by our vice principal, Mr. A. M. Sharif, the person who built habits of mind that can change the most year of school with his most powerful words. May I welcome Mr. Sharif, sir, for today's orientation speech. Over to you, sir. Good evening, respectful uh, principal, my colleagues, my dear parents, as well as uh, the dear children. I'm happy to see you through this platform but I'm unhappy because I can see you only through this platform. In fact, we were having some kind of expectations that we will be able to meet you all physically in the school by the beginning of uh, the coming term when we reopen the school after summer break. But unfortunately, um, you are uh, not able to return the school due to some of the reasons. Anyway, we have to go on, whether it is uh, online or on site, we can't stop our progress. We have to grow, we have to develop and uh, we are there to support you. Our principal has conveyed the major ideas and uh, the uh, most of the things that we have to uh, uh, follow and he has given the guidance as well. Now I will uh, focus on some of the points only. Um, see, Now, at the onset of this meeting, I would like to say that as uh, we have more than 1000 participants now in Zoom and others are uh, requested to join uh, through the live streaming, uh, exact number, uh, I don't know, just before I was seeing more than uh, 150 were there in the live streaming as well. More people will be there. If uh, someone is uh, requesting you, you are not able to join, please advise them to join through the given link. And moreover, we can't answer to all of the queries uh, uh, if uh, uh, allowed to speak through mic. Uh, that's why the chat box is open. 
you can uh, use the chat box for uh, uh, raising your doubts or making clarifications we'll be answering to your doubts now uh, main areas that uh, i will uh, um, i will just pass through the school reopening guidelines and uh, the learning models the e learning ethics as well as the parents role there were uh, a lot of uh, skepticism whether the school will reopen fully in august uh, 21 or not adec has uh, decided to reopen the school with uh, different uh, proposals one of the proposal is full return that is all students are coming to the school as before the one means uh, two years back as they came to school and second one is partial return if uh, there is some difficulty for the school to accommodate all the children then uh, the school can go ahead with the partial return and the third one is uh, distance learning now why ftf ftf is face to face or the on site classes where in children are coming to school regularly and attending the classes i know whether you have uh, uh, opted ftf or e learning irrespective of this option you are all agreeing about the importance of the face to face classes and the advantages manifold children are getting the real time experience they are coming out of their houses they are mingling with their peers with adults they are socializing they are getting chances for uh, uh, getting a real time experience they can collaborate they can interact and they can play with their peers a lot of things are there but uh, due to some reasons uh, it is not possible for all to join see as there are a lot of advantages uh, for a tf uh, classes adec has permitted parents to give an option whether to admit their children in the ftf mode or in the distance learning mode uh, knowing uh, knowing to the implications adec has uh, accepted the parents uh, uh, option for uh, uh, e learning as well now in front of me all of you have opted e learning and we'll discuss about the e learning process now even though there is a, a provision for opting uh, ftf as well as distance learning distance learning is mandatory for uh, some categories of students wherein uh, they have some kind of uh, health risk so the children who are having any kind of health risk are advised to go ahead with the dl only they are not allowed to attend the uh, classes at present now there may be a chance of uh, questions whether there is a difference in the fees for uh, those who are coming uh, fee increase for those who are coming to the school because the number of students are less so will the school charge more or not the answer is no the school fees and the best fees everything will remain same whether you are sending the children to, uh, to the school or not so there is no change of uh, any kind of fees um, whether you are opting sending the children for uh, the school face to face or uh, it is distance learning now regarding health and safety uh, I, i would like to talk to you that uh, uh, a lot of things uh, have been considered uh, while uh, the students are invited to the school uh, to ensure the safety and the well being of the children it is better to uh, convey you what are the safety measures adopted by the school as led by the health authorities as well as adec there are four lines of uh, safety measures in the school one as you are all knowing mask wearing 
it is compulsory to wear the mask inside the classrooms and outside as well all the times to prevent the spread of any kind of infection not only covid 19 any kind of infection airborne infections and the kg students are exempted from wearing the mask but if the parents are interested uh, uh, in uh, uh, wearing the mask for their children uh, there is no objection they can but it is not compulsory the second one is physical distance the children will not be mingling with each other even though they are coming to school and sitting in the classes there will be ample distance between the children they will be allowed to touch each other or contact physically to avoid any kind of uh, spread of any kind of infections third one is ventilation as the, now the time uh, the temperature is a little bit uh, high the ventilations uh, will not be open much but if the climate is better the teachers have the liberty to keep the windows open to uh, ensure more ventilation and more air flow so children can remain more healthy or more ventilated and uh, uh, hand hygiene yeah, we have uh, uh, kept uh, the sanitizers in all the places children can use sanitizer wherever they want but it is mandatory whenever they are going for uh, washing or uh, washing hands or uh, for for toilet they have to use this uh, uh, this uh, hand sanitizer that is compulsory now more safety is ensured now in the campuses as principal convey vaccination is made compulsory requirement for entry in school let it be a child of a, a 16 year and above or any other may be a teacher may be a uh, driver a support staff a parent a visitor for all vaccination is compulsory without vaccination no one can enter the campus moreover those who are coming to the school for the first time after a long break for example you have visited the school in one day and after one or two weeks if you are coming you can enter the campus only after showing a negative rt pcr result of 96 hours validity so safety is ensured one side there is vaccination second side there is a continuous test so those who are coming continuously will undergo the pcr testing a routine pcr testing and the visitors should show the valid pcr testing valid uh, for four days only and the children uh, between uh, uh, 12 and 15 12 and 16 i can say it is not compulsory to get vaccinated but if the parents are willing to give vaccination it is okay it is also well accepted now regarding the distance learning mode uh, that is the thing that you all have opted um this is the guidance given by adec i am showing the slide that is given by adec but we have gone little beyond more because adec advises in distance learning mode in uh, uh, e learning mode at least at least 50% of the classes must be live classes but for modern school the 100% classes are in live sessions no class is uh, is given as a recorded session all children are recorded for live session and they being taught as if they are in uh, the regular classes this is the timing for the uh, classes um the classes will start for the forum session at uh, 7 am and uh, will be the classes uh, will be ending at 11 am there is a break and there will be one more session afterwards details will be conveyed to you by the respective supervisors after this because we have to confirm with the edec and get the clarification uh, or uh, concurrence from edec and for afternoon uh, shift the classes means regular classes will start at 1 o'clock but in the morning there will be uh, a, a a few classes uh, that also we are will be giving the details within one or two days time after getting concurrence from the edec now 
related to the attendance in uh, the distance learning classrooms. Even last year also, we have uh, issued circulars and guidances, manners, etiquettes, guidance, etc. But it is better to speak once again, to, to, to refresh once again, what are the major things that we have to take care of. Uh, as you are all aware, we are conducting the classes through Zoom platform with the support of uh, Google Classroom. You are all aware, the new parents for your information, uh, your children will have a account with an, a, an account, email account in the school's domain. Uh, the children can access the Google Classroom through that uh, Google uh, domain, school domain and uh, the, uh, the study materials, worksheets, uh, assessments, quizzes, all will be available in the Google Classroom and the live classes will be there through the Zoom platform. And uh, for uh, the DL children, all assessments will be conducted through online only. There is no chance of uh, conducting any face-to-face -face assessments. And uh, uh, we cannot conduct any practical classes no hands-on experience uh, sessions we can conduct. We cannot conduct uh, uh, live collaborations. These are the limitations of uh, the distance learning classes, but uh, uh, teachers will uh, try to do maximum to make collaborations uh, through the breakout rooms. I think you are aware, you are aware of uh, the breakout rooms. Now regarding the attendance, I am speaking to the parents and students together. It must be a joint effort by the, the parent and the child and the teacher. Without the collaboration between the three, the classes will not be successful and our objective will not be met. So ensure the on-time attendance of uh, your children and uh, make sure your children are attending all the periods or the classes as per the guidance. And uh, in uh, many classes, in small classes, it is very less. The children are joining with uh, some kind of uh, uh, pet names or the name of the device that they are using. It may be uh, showing Lenovo or maybe showing Samsung or maybe showing uh, some names of uh, some uh, I would say some uh, film stars or great politicians. This is not acceptable <coughs> because this is a professional program. Teachers have to identify who is the child, who are the attendees. So if any child is uh, joining the class with a pet name or a fake name or a different name, the child will be removed from the classroom because we have some uh, bad experiences uh, of uh, admitting children. Um, I will uh, talk to you about it uh, after, uh, after a few while. And uh, regarding the classes, regarding the classes, uh, the location where the child is sitting is very important. Uh, if you have uh, uh, more than one child studying, there will be some uh, practical difficulty, I realize, but please place them where there is proper light available and the light shall not fall on this on the screen of the gadgets. It must be falling either uh, their face, not directly or from the top. So there must be proper lighting and uh, if, if possible, proper ventilation as well. And uh, the, there must be visibility for the senior ones or the elderly ones or parents. Uh, they have to see the, the screen from a distance. And what is happening in the classroom, what is the child doing, you have to observe. But I have a very humble request, especially in lower classes. Uh, the class is a, a professional class the teachers and we all wanted to see and interact with the children. <coughs> there are uh, uh, requirements for uh, 
uh, the involvement of the parents and the teachers will ask for the parents unless otherwise there is a request from the parents please do not appear in the camera uh, please don't sit or lay down somewhere where you are visible through the camera this is very important and do not dictate in between do not interact in between do not interrupt in between let them let your children focus on concentrate and learn we know when i was talking just now one man opened the door just now i just looked at him and my concentration is affected so like that if someone is talking to you you will lose your concentration children are learning a lot so give them maximum chance uh, and the maximum uh, environment to learn well so don't interfere or interpret and uh, uh, they, we have some experience the teacher asks a question to one child sometimes the mother of that child or the mother or father of or sister of another child will be saying the answer you are doing uh, some kind of a, what do you say a wrong thing by not giving chance to your children to think to interpret and learn and grow so you are not supporting them you are actually spoiling them please remember to this one now please address your children not to share the login id and password to anyone else the teachers are sharing the zoom id and password for the students of that class only if there is a chance of intrusion if somebody else some other people some stranger entering the classroom means your child your means any one of your child has given the login id and password to someone else maybe uh, out of uh, uh, not knowing uh, the consequences or uh, uh, due to some kind of uh, uh, some kind of pressure from uh, somebody else it may happen but please uh, advise them it is a wrong doing please don't do that there are a lot of implications to that and uh, let the children do not make any disturbance that uh, distracts the attention of the teachers and the fellow students let them sit properly and sit as if they are in the class and give them proper time for sleeping and let them sleep well and don't give any kind of gadgets while they are sleeping and uh, if not in the class they will be feeling uh, tired they will be uh, feeling sleepy they will be yawning these things will happen make sure the webcam of your child is on always and the mic is off and they can unmute the mic when the teacher is asking otherwise let the uh, mic be off unless otherwise the teacher is asking to keep the mic on okay uh, don't permit any kind of private talks with the uh, other children and uh, uh, do not uh, resort to uh, sending any kind of messages these things you have to take care and uh, talk to your children personally whenever you are having interactions or make situations to to interact keeping in your mind uh, uh, teach them and guide them whenever wherever you can regarding the devices devices net connection and the devices um, my request is there must be separate devices for each and every child if uh, two children are there or three children are there um, we have to uh, come up with the situation at least now the situation started more than one year back uh, and at that time we were thinking that this is the the, the issue will be uh, will be uh, over within three months four months something like that we were sharing the devices with the, all children and uh, some of you were giving mobile phones to the children uh, to attend the classes but uh, uh, we had to uh, change that attitude if you are not having uh, devices uh, to be given to each and every child 
let there be a device with each and every child. Better you can keep a desktop or a laptop. It is better the best one or it is a tab. Please avoid uh, providing mobile phones. Mobile phones are not addressable for uh, attending classes. It is having a lot of limitations and a lot of other issues as well. And you may be uh, seeing that uh, uh, through the televisions, mobile phone is given to, uh, uh, to the children, who, those who are not able to attend classes through the televisions in, uh, in many states, including Kerala and other states, you can see people are giving uh, or contributing mobile phones to the children. I, I, I will tell you one very clearly, the after for this uh, uh, giving, uh, maybe uh, for, for genuine cause, is uh, uh, something beyond our expectation. So my request, I can request to my parents only, please avoid giving mobile phones to the children, give them devices. Okay, and, uh, uh, and adopt the preventive measures or the devices for uh, uh, for controlling them to avoid any kind of misuse. There are a lot of control applications that uh, you can discuss with the IT team. Some important uh, tips for monitoring and proper guidance and not uh, reading out everything. You know a lot of things. Uh, let the children realize that they are all under surveillance and they are all monitored. Um, uh, parents are uh, knowing and, and as well as they are uh, observing what is happening and uh, whether I am uh, studying well or I am misusing or not. This must be there with the in the minds of the children. So give them proper guidance and uh, avoid using any gadgets uh, while sleeping or while eating or while going to toilet. Uh, I'm sorry to say that these habits, they are learned from parents. I know many parents and many people who are using mobile phones every time, even when they're in the dining table, they will be, they'll be looking at the side and eating something or the one hand will be in the mobile and uh, making chats or replying something. Please avoid that. Please. Um, uh, give it time to interact with the children, give them good lessons, be models to them. We are the models. We must be the role models. And uh, regarding modesty and uh, professional status, uh, this has been discussed many times, but again, you have to say that um, each and everyone has to respect. We have to give respect and take respect. Teachers are uh, doing a professional responsibility please respect that professional uh, job they are doing and uh, respect their modesty you can communicate with the teachers but there are uh, 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 specific times for that during the class hours please don't disturb them and uh, sending messages is okay for genuine reasons but if you have something uh, to be clarified uh, uh, if they are not able to clarify, it may happen because uh, sometimes a teacher may not be able to give a satisfactory reply to you. Don't be angry with them. They are not giving because they cannot uh, give a, a satisfactory reply. So you can contact the school. Please uh, do not uh, uh, show any kind of disgust uh, with them uh, because they are uh, helpless. That's why. And I request that uh, parents to be techno savvy. Um, recently, I have seen a film wherein uh, a father who is not techno savvy, who is not having uh, the idea of using a, a, a smartphone, um, uh, those who are uh, uh, ha having the habit of seeing films, see that film also. You can understand that the difference between the older generation and the younger generation. But we must be, we, we also have to be techno savvy. We cannot uh, live without having a proper understanding about that technology. We also have to uh, know what is uh, happening around us, how technology is improving. At least we have to have a minimum understanding. 
through that the children also will evaluate us growing along with the uh, generation and uh, even though children are uh, sitting at home and attending classes it is mandatory to wear the school uniform uh, not only the top but the full uniform is advisable if you are permitting the children or if you are advising the children to wear the top uh, which part is uh, coming to the camera only you are uh, teaching them something how can you overcome the regulations and guidance you are teaching them you are uh, teaching something what can be done wrongly improperly please think in that way and uh, uh, one to one chat is also uh, not uh, appreciated and uh, the most important thing is uh, private chatting between the children during the class time this you have to take very much care unless otherwise you take care there will be private chat and uh, children will be viewing or visiting uh, some websites or uh, some uh, apps or gaming during the time of the classes they will be looking at the screen and doing something else that you have to keep a watch continuously don't think that my daughter my son will not do that you know the school is having a lot of communication uh, measures before uh, i can say around the two three years back we were using only circulars and uh, limitedly we are using sms messages now you are getting sms messages a lot even some parents complained also uh, so many messages are uh, received uh, received from the school it is a truth because we have to communicate uh, with the parents and we have to convey the messages so uh, these things will be followed and uh, all classes class teachers are having class groups and sending whatsapp messages to the parents and we have web portal almost all information is available moreover uh, now we have the social media accounts as well facebook and instagram please follow the school uh, facebook as well as instagram uh, to uh, get updated about the information not only school information other information as well thanking you very much and uh, we'll be answering to you if you have any doubt uh, i think you have uh, um, given a lot of questions uh, thank you sir thank you for your detailed and valuable informative speech i hope almost all the doubts cleared the students and the parents cleared almost all the doubts regarding transportation health fees etc hope almost everything cleared so i invite the choice of boy section mr abdul rashid the motivational speaker for the vote of thanks as well as the concluding remarks over to you sir thank you dr asina begum <clears throat> honorable principal vice principal a uh, manager student affairs at oss supervisors my dear colleagues i am my dear loving parents and children good evening to one and all assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh how are you all see summer vacation is going to be over in a couple of days i don't know whether the children appreciate okay anyway the summer break was a great opportunity for every child to refresh to renew themselves to recharge and what else to gain more vigor and more enthusiasm to join the new session new academic session so i wholeheartedly welcome all of you to have mindfulness readiness and willingness 
willfully, mindfully, and voluntarily come forward to join us in this uh, uh, term. Principal and uh, vice principal explained all the uh, requirements, all the guidelines, policies, etc. I think uh, your all doubts have been cleared. One important thing that uh, I would like to mention to you is, in spite of having opportunity uh, to have face-to-face -face classes, FTF classes, you people have been opted distant learning. You may have your own reasons for that, but we have to realize the fact that online learning has a lot of limitations with regards to the holistic development of uh, the children. See, lots of skills will be not developed while the students are engaged through the online platform. What about their communication skill? Have you ever seen the children talk when they are uh, sitting in the uh, online class? So communication skill will be adversely affected in the online class, massively affected. What about collaboration skill? In the real classroom, classes will progress through activities. So they will make mutual discussions. They will be giving and taking. A lots of uh, interactions will be happening. Even though social distancing, mask, everything is being maintained. But that opportunity, that opportunity will be lost in the online class. And also when we think about the comprehensive and holistic development of personality, personal development, how shall it happen when the students are sitting day and night back at home with the devices and staring or exposure to the media screen for long hours will adversely affect the optical nerves of the eye. The optic nerves of the eye will be given more engagement, more heavy burden. So in the long run, it will be affecting their eyesight as well. You can, you can follow 20, 20, 20 principles when uh, the students are getting engaged with the media screen for a long time. What is the 20, 20, 20 principle? Every 20 minutes, after every 20 minutes, take a small break for 20 seconds without affecting, without the inter interrupting the class. Just take move the eyes away from the screen for just 20 seconds and look at an object which is at 20 feet away that is 20 20 20 rule after every 20 minutes just take away the eyes and focus on an object which is at 20 feet away for just 20 seconds 20 seconds so this can be repeatedly done so that is one solution another one is once the classes are over, students can scratch their palms each other, rub each other, so that it will become very warm. This can be kept on the eyes. Close the eyes and then keep on that. So this will help to maintain the health of the eye. Uh, also, eye rotation exercise can be done. How is the eye rotation exercise? Means hold the hands like this. Thumbs are up. And then look up, right side, down, left. Repeatedly do this for 10 times. Then to left side also, reverse the direction. One, two, three, four. Like this, you have to do uh, 20 times, eye rotations on a daily basis. So this will help to maintain the health of the eye as well. So my dear parents, uh, as our vice principal mentioned, in the, uh, it, it is a responsibility of the parents to support the children by providing powerful connectivity, internet connectivity, signals. And in addition to that, the parents have to facilitate their watch with appropriate devices. That is an essential requirement in the distant learning. Appropriate laptop or tab and also, they must be provided by a separate room, a comfortable room, 
without having any sort of distractions. When the students are sitting with the one device, there should not be any other device which they can access because they may be distracted. Students are sitting in the class, of course, and also they are sitting in front of the lab, also holding another device in their lap. Laptop is on the tabletop and tab is on the lap. See? And they will be browsing something else, watching games or uh, whatever they find interesting, they will be proceeding with that. So every now and then there must be an eye over the children when, when you are at home. So that this kind of distractions can be traced and tracked. We, we get feedback from the parents. This kind of complaints we get from the, these are the real situations happening in the, in the uh, uh, classrooms when the students engage in the distance learning. And also you have to ensure that the students are sitting with the, all the required books as per the timetable. It's a usual practice. Students take a small break from the class to take the books required for that particular period. Either textbook or notebook, they go, take and come back, join back to the class. So students have to take the books, whatever is required for all the seven periods, and it must be kept on the table and one by one they can take as per the requirement of the period. Again, uh, they have to sit with a uh, rough notebook and whatever new information is uh, shared through the slides, any, any new term or any uh, new uh, definition, any new information provided can be scribbled down, just, just scribbled down in the notebook, rough notebook, so that they can maintain their attention in the class. Because online class is, uh, in fact, a boring class. It's very dull, very difficult to uh, capture the attention of the children throughout for the four, uh, long four and five hours. So there must be some initiative from the side of children. There must be some initiative from the, child of, uh, from the side of the parents and teachers as well. The classes must be very interesting and visuals, audio, uh, such uh, uh, aids can be uh, associated with the positive vibes so that the attention of the students can be uh, captured towards the class throughout whatever hours are there. Students will, will not be distracted because classes we have to make uh, infotainment. Information is provided, given, rendered through uh, entertainment. So these are all the solutions that we can uh, propose. So my dear parents, uh, please encourage the students to have daily learning. And for that, you can initiate them to conduct oral tests for all subjects, whatever is being taught on a day and in the evening or in the next day morning, the parent has to ask them questions, some oral, oral tests. You ask randomly some two, three questions from uh, each notes. So that if they are able to give answer means they have learned. Otherwise, learning is not happening. If uh, continuously learning is not happening, the examination, uh, what they uh, are going to write will be having some malpractices because they want to show some scores in each paper just to satisfy the parents. So what will happen? Uh, the online test will be just uh, the genuinity cannot be confirmed. There also an I must be there from the side of parents. Whether the students are writing the answers by their own or they refer any notebook or any textbook or uh, they browse the answers in the internet and write. So the genuinity of that test must be uh, verified, monitored by the parents. Then uh, we can uh, ensure the score that is genuine. Otherwise, what will happen? The fundamental building bricks of knowledge will be lost for the students. How they will be uh, having enough uh, knowledge and information in order to attend the uh, what the interests for the professional courses. So they, there they will be pushed back. Those who study regularly, fairly well, will always go ahead. And uh, this kind of professional courses will be reserved for such students who do learn regularly with the support of the parents and the teachers. And we teachers are always at the service of the children. Day and night, our teachers are working for the welfare of uh, your wards. So don't hesitate to seek the support of the teachers. Of course, uh, they are at uh, your service. We, we offer that. 
um this evening i don't want to make a prolonged speech uh, uh th this collaboration of uh, parent teacher student must go on to ensure the prosperity and uh, holistic development of the students and also to reach the full potential holistic full, full potential uh, to explore this kind of sessions are highly essential and uh, I take this opportunity to appreciate every one of you and also thank for your uh, mindful and willful presence, your enthusiasm to be uh, to be uh, participated in this uh, uh, evening session. So thank you very much. Wish you all the best. Have a nice academic uh, session in the coming term. So once again, thank you very much. Strong Thank you, Rashi, sir to give a proper guidelines to our parents and students. At the end of the day, the most overwhelming key to a child's success is the positive involvement of parents. We cannot accomplish all that we need to do without working together. Thank you all parents and students, those who cooperate with us. Thank you, thank you all. Sir, can we end the meeting? Yes, yes, yes. Is there anything else, Rishi, sir? No, sir. So we can end now. Yeah, yeah. we can end. Wait up.